everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Creative Hands. Um, I'm coming on here to show you a few things. I've gotten a lot of mail lately, and uh, a lot of my uh, Friday orders, my Black Friday orders are coming in. Um, excuse the dogs from barking. We've got a deer or something running the property, and they're losing it, so just ignore them. Anyways, there's no way I can stop them. It's been going on for hours, so I give. I've been waiting to do this video, and I give up. That's it. Um, <clears throat> there's a few things I wanted to show you. Um, my uh, cup came in. My uh, crochet hook cup came in from uh, Lucky Stradley's uh, Something Lucky 13 Etsy shop. It goes along with my yarn bowl, the witch, which I'm really happy about. Um, I also got something from Webb, something from Makari, something from another thing from Etsy. And two Kramer mystery boxes. So I have a lot to show you. And uh, I guess we'll just get going. Okay, let me see. I'm going to start with Etsy. Now, I don't know if you guys uh, remember here. You know what? I'm going to grab it. Hold on. Ugh. See if I can do it without knocking everything down. Okay. I don't know if you all remember when I got this here. This was all these little packs of yarn. I'll tell you the name of the place and all that. Or if, if I can't remember or whatever, I'll put it in the description box. But I got all these packs, these um, little 50 gram balls. of It's a, a fingerling weight uh, yarn, acrylic yarn. And I bought all different colors. There's all different colors of the rainbow in here. Um, also some variegated, whatever. I bought all, because they were so cheap. It's only $7.60 for one of these bags. And each one of these balls has, I believe it's 109 or 137. It's one or the other. Anyways, in each. There's not a whole lot of information like on here. Um... 72% acrylic. Now I'm reading, reading, uh, this is from Mexico. So I'm reading Spanish. 28%, I believe, polyester. 180 grams. Don't understand the rest. Okay, so each one of these packs. Now this I got months and months ago. And my intentions with this is uh, to make either like a granny uh, square kind of project. Maybe if I just use it as the yarn itself, it'd be a spring project, or I could put it with some acrylic and make it a winter project. You know, I just kind of up in the air about it. Well, I checked out the shop again just to see if they had anything else interesting, and I found it with Sparkle. Okay, so I'm pretty excited about it. This is uh, Fuchsia Rosa. And... If you can see the sparkle in it, I hope you can. See the plastic there. I have one of these open so I can show you. Um, and this is like burgundies and reds and fuchsias. So pretty and very, very sparkly. Um, this one's all blues. Oranges and yellows. Some more deep reds without the fuchsia, just kind of going off of what they have there. Oh, there we go. Here's one sticking out. Um, it looks like in the package that it might be a boucle, but it's not. It's actually a fingerling weight with sparkle wrapped on it. I cannot feel the sparkle whatsoever like that. Here's some greens and some teals. That would be better. I'll show you that side. Greens and teals. Here's browns and golds. I don't know if you can see that sparkle or not, but it is really, really sparkly. And blacks, grays, and a little bit of gold. Blacks, grays, and a little bit of golds there. This one's called Cafe, so coffee. And they all have sparkle in them. And this one doesn't have a sticker on it. Okay. So, anyways... These are the, I got these, what did I get? Eight packs. I got these four, and I got these four. 
I'm pretty happy about this because I can put pair them up with this down here. So that's going to work out really good. And then I also got these. Um, here, I opened this one. Oh, they're both opened, okay. These are looms. Now, this one is for big yarn or macrame cording or rug yarn, that kind of a thing, uh, to use as a loom. You could also use these to make bows, like I make for my wreaths. So these are pretty handy dandy. And I think on their website, they're like two or three dollars. Cheap, cheap, cheap. And here's one for smaller yarns, smaller ribbons. Um, and you can use this like a loom as well. So these are pretty cool. And they come with little directions, but I believe it's all in Spanish. So I may need a translator, but I will get it. <laughs> But anyways, that's one of my Etsy purchases over Black Friday. I believe I got like 30% off or something. It was a pretty good deal. And they're only $7.60 a pack normally. So it was a pretty good deal. Hold on one second. Let me see if it's on the box, what the name of the company is. If not, I'll put it in the description box below. Okay. All right, let's see if it's on the box. Yes, estambres.com. Yeah, hold the box up so you can see. Oh, shoot, that's giving out my address. There we go. Okay, so that is um, where I got the little bitty yarn, which I'm pretty excited about. Okay. Um, all right, um, uh, next is my webs. Now, I got, I've wanted these ever since I've seen Crystal at Bag O'Day had these. I've wanted them because, uh, you know, I, I collect, you know, the small skeins of, of cotton and whatever to make ponchos, really colorful items. That's what I use that for, granny squares, um, super colorful items with a lot of color change, you know. Um, like my peace poncho is a peace sign and then it goes out to granny square and gets bigger and bigger. Those similar kind of projects. And when you have these gradient packs like this, where it goes from one color to the next to next like this, it's kind of easy to make a gradient color on your granny square or whatnot. Anyways, I've wanted these for a long time. I probably won't use them right away, but I got them at half price, so I couldn't pass them up. This was on webs. Now, this one is, I know I'm saying it wrong, sheep cheese, shep cheese, something like that. Stone washed, river washed color pack. There is uh, 58 balls. They're all 26 meters, so close to 30 uh, yards. Uh, of course, they used the sticker and covered it up. Uh, and I haven't opened it, so let me see if it's on the back or the side. No information. Okay, hold on. I really didn't want to open it, but I will open it. I just love these little packs like this, as you can tell. Um... Although you guys haven't seen a whole lot of those projects, because most of them I sold, to be totally honest with you. I don't really sell my projects anymore. It got to be too much of a job and not fun anymore. So I, did, I don't sell them. But, like for instance, this one. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. Let's see if I can read it. 78% cut and 22% acrylic. It's a sport weight, and this says color jade, and this is just the sheep she stone washed, and I just love these little bonbons. I got all kinds of them over there from all different companies. You know, I love the mini Hanks and all that. I just think they're so cute, and I love to look at them, but anyways, this is... The stone wash pack you get from Sheep Cheese. And again, it has 58 of these little bonbons in it. All in different colors. 
And I thought that was really neat. And I got it for half price. So, hey, can't beat that with a stick. Then the big one. The big one has 109 different colors. 100% um, mercerized. I always want to say mesmerized. Mercerized cotton. Uh, 25 millimeter length for each one. Uh, certified safe to use for soft toys. And this one is the big box. And once again, got it at half price. There's 109 different colors. This one I did open. So let me grab a, a color here because I wanted to feel it. Um, with it being mercerized cotton, a lot of times it's really stiff and scratchy. So I opened this up to feel it, and I'm pleasantly surprised. It's more like a, even a little better than a kitchen cotton, like a peaches and cream or, or whatnot. And they're so cute. And this is called Katana. She, Shepshi's Katana. And this is 100% mercerized cotton. 25 millimeters fingerling weight. And uh, there is every color you could possibly think of and then some. And none of them are variegated. They're all actually 109 separate shades of color. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So that's something I got from those two things I got from Webs. This. I've been wanting this for a while, and every time I look at it, it's like $30 or $25 plus shipping or whatever. Everywhere I've seen it. Well, a lady had it on Macari, which my link is below for Macari. I love Macari. I find all kinds of deals on Macari. They have where you can, you know, like say a person has a set price of $25. Well, you can send them an offer for less than that. And if they accept it, it goes through. And if they don't, it'll come back as declined. Well, I didn't think she would do it. She had it like $22, I think. And I offered her $18 and she took it. And it was with free shipping as well. So I got The Nightmare Before Christmas. It has everything to make um, Jack and Sally in there. As you can see, it has the crochet hook in the middle has the yarn, the stuffing. This book helps you make uh, 12 different characters. There's some on the front, some on the back, some on the sides. So it includes 12 patterns, but it gives you the yarn to make Sally and Jack. And I'm pretty excited about this one. You know me and Halloween, so you know, Halloween and Christmas are my two favorite holidays. Okay, next. I want to show you a little F.O. Now, it's not something that, well, you'll see. It's not a big deal. I just thought it came out pretty cute. Do you remember when Mark used his hobby points and he got this wooden base? Well, it was so small. I was like, what am I going to do with that? I make some kind of a little basket. So then I started making the basket. And I thought if I make it kind of bulbous shape, I can fit a ball of yarn in it. And I'll make a little hole for the yarn to come out. And I'll even put a handle on it so I can carry it from room to room when I'm doing my smaller projects. So that's what I did. And as you can see, there's the yarn in there. I made it almost like a cauldron shape. You know, it goes from square on the bottom. And then I just did some increases to make it, you know, bow, bow out. And then I just left a little gap here. For my um, yarn to pull through. I'm pulling out too much yarn. But you get the idea. And then just a little handle that I can carry it with me from room to room if I need to. And I just thought it turned out cute. Nothing fancy smancy. But I thought it was really cute. And this is with that Hobie wooden bottom that, um, that Mark got. My dogs are on edge. There must be deer out there. That's all I can tell you. It's been like this all day. All day. So I give up, you know. One big apology, sorry. <laughs> I give up. Okay, now y'all have seen Ethel. Ethel is my witch. And she is, let me get my. She is from Lucky Stradley and Something Lucky. 
the Etsy shop is called Something Lucky 13. And she also has a Facebook. Now, her Facebook is Lucky Stradley or Something Lucky. It's both. And the deal is with her is that she's an artist. Flat out an artist. Impeccable work. Impe I could not be happier with the objects I bought from her. Now, these are hand-thrown pottery. And then she sculpts the faces and that on them. And, you know, you guys, have I've told you this before, but um, I wanted to reiterate a little bit because if you go to her Facebook groups, you'll see the latest stuff that she has made. Now, if it doesn't sell on the Facebook group, it goes into her Etsy shop, which to me is smart business because Etsy does charge you quite a bit to uh, use their site. And this is the business card, which I absolutely love. And... She's kind of famous for her faces and the way she portrays the faces. Each one of the items that she makes comes with a birth certificate. It says, this is to announce the birth of Ethel, born October 29th, 2002, in Hubble, New England. N-E, New England? Neat. And then there's a, another number on there, but there's my little birth certificate. And then it says... Uh, created and delivered something lucky 13 the art of lucky stradley and then it gives uh, a web address okay and this is the phone number and all the information let me move my finger all the information about her shop i definitely will link it below but you guys know how much i love ethel ethel is my girl I love this. Um, yarn comes out her nose, which nostrils, it's this one, I believe. There's a hole here, and yarn comes out her nose. And then there's also the typical yarn bowl uh, hook here that you put the yarn through. But I love Ethel. Love her. I am so excited. Um, I wish I had my other phone in here. I'd show you guys. When I first got my first bowl from her, um, this part was broke off. No fault of hers. It was our postal service. I know it for a fact because the uh, they throw stuff around all the time. It's an issue out this way. So anyway, she graciously sent me a label to send it back to her. Or she gave me the option of sending it back to her, her repairing it, or me getting a whole new bowl. Well, I figured the repair would, you know, hang up on my yarn because she would have to do something here. And she was going to, like, put an eyeball or something there. And I thought, maybe my yarn would hang up on it or, you know, whatever. And I thought, you know what? I just prefer to get another bowl. So she absolutely sent me another bowl. I sent her the broken one back with the label she provided. And um, she it took her a couple weeks, which I knew it would. I mean, these are all hand-thrown clay on the wheel. You know, they have to carve them. I mean, this is a big process. And, you know, you have to wait for art. As simple as that, you know. And I am, oh my gosh, you guys, the funniest faces on the coolest stuff. You need to look through her whole catalog on Etsy. She has mushrooms and she has all the faces. And then she also has things you can use, shot glasses and uh, egg separators and hand soap dispensers. And I mean, she's got a lot more than just yarny related stuff and they all are unique. Each one is made separately and they all have different faces, different. I'm just the cool, cool. I can't say enough about her. Wonderful artist. I love, love, love her shop. And if you would go over there, favorite her shop, Favorite a couple of things in it that helps with her algorithm and that will help move her up in the algorithm. So that I would appreciate that because she has done me so good and uh, I don't know, I just appreciate it. So anyways, this is Ethel. So I sit here, now they're not cheap. I'll let you know they're not cheap, but you're paying for an artist's work. Each one is signed. I had Mark put these on the bottom, but each one is signed and dated and has their name on it. The whole shebang. Okay, this is art. This is not just your body yarn bowl. Okay, so the prices are a little steep, but for what you're getting, I don't believe they are. And, you know, that's my personal opinion, 
But, you know, I used to sell my paintings and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, from an artist perspective, I think they are absolutely reasonable. Now, this is something that I've wanted for years. Something from her shop. Something similar to this, if I've seen it somewhere. So, I wanted this. And then I've been looking at her shop for quite some time. And finally, I just said, D, pull the trigger. You deserve it. You know, it's a little bit more that I'm comfortable with spending on a yarn bowl. But you're getting a piece of art. You're getting something you wanted for a really long time. And I treated myself. And I'm glad I did because I love Ethel. Ethel and me are buddies. Okay, so that whole story's done. So uh, these are for my new subscribers. You know, hi, everybody, if you're new. Um, anyway, so now I decided that I wanted to get a bowl to go alongside of Ethel to hold my crochet hooks or hold my extra, you know, needles or, or whatever. And I asked her if she could custom make me one because I didn't see one that what I wanted. What I wanted was a black cat to go along with my witchy poo, right? And I have a black cat. I've always had black cats. Um, ever since I was a kid, we had black cats. I have a necklace tangled up. There we go. Um, we had black cats as a kid. I have a black cat now. I've always, one of my older cats lived to be 28. Her name was Lucky, ironically, and she was all black. And so I've always had a black cat. I love black cats. They're the least adopted animal at the shelters. And so whenever, um, you know, my cats passed away or whatever, which was always from very old age, um, I went to a shelter and got another black cat. And my TT is a black cat. So anyways, I wanted her, what I called her familiar, you know. I wanted the bowl to go with her or the cup to go with her to be a black cat. And she let me know the whole process. Like she sent me a picture of the clay done and how she sculpted it. Is this good? You know, is this face good? Are you okay with this? Yes. Then she let me know after it was fired. Do you want it all black or do you want it to be like a tuxedo cat with a white chest or a white paw or whatever? And I said, no, I know that, you know, I want to give you your artist freedom, but all my cats have always been all black. So I would really prefer an all black cat. Let me take a drink. And she said, okay, that's fine. And I got her the other day. You guys, this is... Let me get my, this is Midnight, born on December 1st, her name is Midnight, and this is Midnight, isn't it cool, she's got a kind of an angry cat face, which absolutely cracks me up, and she goes with Ethel perfectly, isn't it cool, I absolutely love this, Thank you so very, very much. I love it. I love it. I love it. And the eyes just crack me up. They're so funny. And the eyes are glossy, even though this part is like a matte finish. The eyes and the color in the ears and the tips and all inside is shiny. But the eyes are shiny. The little tongue, the colors in the ears. I just love it. It is absolutely wonderful. And it goes perfect with Ethel. And so I couldn't be more pleased. So if you guys haven't already, go over there and, ch and check it out. It's called Something Lucky 13 on Etsy or on Facebook, Lucky Stradley, who is the artist, or Something Lucky on Facebook. And there you actually get first dibs because that's where she puts her newest stuff. If it doesn't sell, it goes over to Etsy. Smart business move because Etsy charges you a lot. Okay, so now that you've seen that, my next thing is I got two Kramer boxes. And I've already been through them. I got two of the 10-pound uh, Kramer boxes because they didn't have any of the 20-pounders. So I bought two 10-pounders. But I went through and divided it into stuff that I've already had and already shown you, which I'll show again, but stuff I've already had and already shown you. And the other box, I put stuff that I've never had and never have shown you. So I'll go through the box where I've shown you this before. And now I have more of it. Okay. 
Now, the thing about Kramer's Mystery Boxes is this. If you have a wool allergy or allergy to animal fibers whatsoever, don't order them. Um, this is a small mom and pop's kind of mill. And a lot of what they have is wool, alpaca, mohair. You know, there's a lot of animal fibers going around there. Now, they do have some cotton and linen and acrylic and all that stuff because they make it for other companies. But in the mystery boxes, generally you get a lot of wool. Or wool blends. Okay? So anyways, I've had this before. I don't remember how many I have of each. Let me see. Three, six, nine, ten. Okay. I have ten of this beige. Which I think I've got ten or fifteen up there. Um, this does have a bit of a halo. It is a number four. And none of these are going to have labels on them. So this is a guessing game. You can go on to their website and see, uh, you know, some of the things that are in here. Like, I'll show you something in particular. Um, you know, may not have the sparkle in it, but the yarn is the same. May not have any color on it, but the yarn is the same. It's things like that. You'll see what I mean. But anyways, this is like an ecru or a beige. It definitely has some wool in it, but it is a blend of some sort. I'm thinking acrylic, maybe an acrylic and wool blend. That's what I'm guessing with this. Okay. Now, I have 10 of those. I have 10 of these brick red, which I've had these before as well. This is even a little bit softer than than the beige. I'm thinking this might be an acrylic blend and it does have a wee bit of sparkle and it doesn't feel as thick. So let's see. Yeah, you could classify that as a DK or almost a four where this one would be a definite four. Okay. This is a little bit softer, this brick red, which I think is beautiful by the way. And I got two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got ten of those as well. Okay. Very similar to the beige is this blue. And it's almost like a heathered blue, if you can see. Love it. It's like a denim color. You know, sometimes the colors don't come off, you know, because of the light or whatnot. Uh, don't come off exactly how I see it. So just so you know, this is more of a denim blue, a heathered denim, denim blue. It does have a wee bit of a halo, nothing that would tangle up in your crochet hook or anything. And this is a wool blend. This is definitely a wool blend because you can feel that wool. Yeah, I can smell it in that. I can smell the wool in that. And that has a different smell. Yeah, there's something different about that. Because it's softer and the balls aren't quite as big. Well, I also got 10 of those. I'm going to be drowned in here in a minute. 10 of those. You know, and they always send you a thank you for your purchase. Kramer Yarns made by our family for your family. Which I think is really nice. You get one of those in each box. Okay, so there's... Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. Then I got ten of these. Now, we've all seen these in the Kramer boxes. This is the, the mohair blend that you get. Man, oh, man, is this soft. This is beautiful yarn. But let me also show you. It is definitely a one weight. Okay. So, this is either something that you would make a really frilly shawl, for instance. Or that you would pair up with another yarn just to give it some halo. You know, just to give it some extra thickness. Maybe the halo. Um, with that being heathered, this would go perfect with it to make even more heathered. And I love this. I have quite a bit of this. And I'm, I've been kind of hoarding it. I, I kind of like it. And I'm, I got an idea of what this is going to become. But we will see. Okay, let me put some of this away and then I can, I can go into the other side of the box. So if you're keeping track, that is 40, yeah, 
That's 40 so far. With the base, the red, the blue, and then the mohair. Okay. I'm not going to be able to get it all back in here using. Okay, so I'll just stick it like this for now. Okay, then I got 10 of these as well. This really nice navy. Now this feels like cotton and linen. It doesn't feel 100% like linen because linen, as you know, is kind of stiff and whatever. Now it has some of that in it, but it also has some of the softness of cotton. And this is probably a two, right around a two, which this would make really nice summer, summer wear. And I got 10 of those as well. And so that's 50. Next one I got is this sage green. Now, I've had all of these before, so you've probably seen them on my channel. Same thing. I believe this to be a linen, uh, linen, maybe linen and cotton mixture, but it definitely has some linen in it. Okay? So that's 50. 50 balls of yarn. Okay. Get the beige in there. <coughs> And my sinuses are going haywire. I wish this weather decide what it's going to do. Okay, let me get this out of the way. It's pretty heavy. Just a second. Okay, now these are the yarns that I haven't received before. And I got, which I really like them. Like, I guess you would call that a marl. But this is gray and black. Um, it's it's a two. Feels a little wooly, not scratchy, but you can definitely feel some wool in there. You can smell the wool in there as well. So that's two. Bring me more of that. I don't think so. I got a lot of the brown, the brown and white, or brown and off-white color. I think this would make something really, really pretty. Same, uh, my same opinion on it. I believe that it's, uh, it's got some wool in it. Maybe wool and acrylic blend. As you can see, each, it's, uh, like a tweedy effect. Not really tweed. Tweed's the polka dots, right? So, like a marled, I guess would be the word. So, let me see. That's 52, 4, 6, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. Okay, so I've never gotten these two before. Um, the gray and black and the brown and, and cream color. Never gotten them before, so I was pretty happy about those. You, you know, sometimes you'll get the same thing over and over again, and other times they throw something in there that's, you know, random. So you never know what you're going to get. That's part of the mystery, right? Okay, then I got, oh, I am very sorry. I lost track. 50, 54, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, and then I got this green. This might be the base for the sparkle creamer that I got. Okay, so I love the green. Look how deep that green is. Super soft. Love the way it feels. Then I got some miscellaneous hanks. One is this black and white, which I think is kind of cool. You can put it with some of the hanks I got up there and make something neat. Anyways, that I think is pretty cool. Definitely wool. Another one that's definitely wool. But this one is really soft. I think this one is alpaca, to be honest with you. This gray one. But they're my two oddball hanks. And then I got a bunch of undyed hanks. Now these, I don't know what they're made out of. They have a little bit of a woolly feel. They have a little bit of a cotton feel. Not a clue. 
Okay. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I got eleven hanks of undyed yarn. And I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll try my hand at it. You never know. It could be fun, you know. All the different ways I've seen crystal dye with Kool-Aid and, you know, uh, food coloring and, you know, that kind of stuff. And obviously I've seen Thrust a million times dye with her acid dyes and all that kind of stuff. And Mama G dyes yarn and uh, Cassie at uh, Niche Craft, she also has tried dyeing yarn. So I thought, well, maybe, you know, maybe I'll give it a shot too. You never know, you know, that artist in me comes out. All together, I got 84 balls. Now, the price is $37.50 for each box, which if you divide that in half, that's 44 skeins of yarn in each box. Okay? 44 skeins of yarn for $37.50, which is less than 50, or less than a dollar a skein. Then you add on the shipping. Let me take a drink. It comes to fit well to Michigan. I don't know, it may vary. It comes to fifty-one dollars and some change. So let's say fifty-two bucks. Forty-four skeins of yarn for fifty-two bucks. You can't beat that with a stick. High quality wool, alpaca, you know, I mean some of very, very nice yarns. And also the the blanks and dyeable yarn, you get that, to, you know, you can play with. I mean, I just love uh, Kramer's mystery boxes. Now, I know a lot of people that, uh, well, not a lot of people. I know a couple people that say they don't like them, that the color's not up their alley or whatever. But I look outside that box, you know. I think, well, I could pair this up with this, or I could take some of that over there and mix it with that and do this, or this could be a, a part of... A project or whatnot and uh, I absolutely love Kramer's mystery boxes I buy them every chance I can when I have the money and they are available because they're not always available and uh, I always tell everybody hey if, if Kramer's got their mystery boxes please let me know message me and let me know that they got them on sale because I'd like to get a couple of them um, and like I said sometimes they have 20 and 10 pound boxes other times just 10 so I got in on it. It was just tens. And uh, they only allow you to purchase one at a time, just so you know. And what I did is I bought one, and then I went back and bought another. So I paid double shipping, you know. But I'm thinking for 100 and, what, $102, whatever it would be, I got 88 skeins of yarn. Skeins, hanks, whichever. Not a bad deal in my book. You know me. I'm all about finding that deal, so. I'm pretty happy with my purchase, and I think you would be too, if you're like me, and it, and you know you can kind of feel and tell uh, you like wool, uh, you know you don't mind not having the labels. Um, sometimes you get the same thing; that's just luck of the draw. Other times you don't, and I surprisingly got, you know, some different yarns I've never had before from Kramer, so I was very happy, you know, that I uh, purchased two of them. Even though the two of them were probably 80% the same and the other 20% was a mixture of things I wasn't expecting to get. So I didn't mind that one bit. So that's that. Um, let me see. Do I have anything else I want to tell you all? Um, I hope you guys caught me on uh, Joe Garden State Gardeners. That was a lot of fun. Joe is such a nice guy. And uh, I had a lot of fun over there. It was, it was really cool. And I was on a panel of crafters. And it, it was just really neat. I really enjoyed myself. I hope you guys got to, to check that out. If not, go back and watch the replay. It's Garden Garden State Gardener. And the man's name is Joe. Super sweet. He has a lovely family. Uh, he does all kinds of giveaways. And he's into gardening, of course. And he gives away seeds and yarn and just all kinds of different stuff. And Joe's a really nice guy. 
And I highly recommend uh, you going over there and checking them out. If you're not subscribed, please do. Joe's a nice guy. I think you'll enjoy yourself over there. He's cracking me up playing polka music and spinning the wheel for winners. You know, he's got the wheel going. Polka music is playing. And it was just fun. It was a lot of fun. And uh, we can't have too many smiles, right? So that was uh, that was a fun day. So I hope you guys caught me over there. Um, also, this Saturday, as usual, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, be there, be square. I have my weekly live. Um, we have a lot of fun there. We laugh and joke around, and uh, we I don't know. We just we just have a ball, and there's lots of giveaways. People donate stuff to give away. I always put up some giveaways. I mean, we just we just have a ball over there. So I hope to see you 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time again on this Saturday, which is the 10th of December. Um, I do have a little bit different of a lineup for this month due to the holidays. Um, I do have my members only live on the 14th. Uh, these are all in upcoming live videos on my channel. So you can, you know, look at them and, and hit the notification bell to have them make sure they let you know. And, of course, the following Saturday, my live at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard. I'm on the third Tuesday of every month with Crystal, the yarny chicken crazy cat lady, which I think you will enjoy, Crystal. She's very talented. She makes hooks and amigurumi, and her hooks are awesome. She sells them, um, which is unusual for her. She normally doesn't, but she's come upon some doctor bills she needs to take care of, so... Um, she'll put your name on them and the size, and they're awesome in your hand. There's a nice place for your thumb, nice place for your finger, really nice feeling in your hand. Crochet hook. She also uh, gives away patterns. Um, she has a monthly giveaway where if you do super chats and all that, you get a, a name in the, in the basket like I do. And um, so she has that going on over there, so... Uh, Crystal, the Yarny Chicken and Crazy Cat Lady. You might want to go over there and check her out as well. Okay, let me think. Is there anything else I need to tell you? Oh, yeah. I started to tell you about my... So, Crystal, I will be live with Crystal on Crystal's channel on the 20th, which is the third Tuesday. Then we have me and Mark's Christmas party. It's going to be live on the 23rd. Not something you're going to want to miss. We're going to have a ball. Lots of giveaways. Lots of Christmas fun. And I hope you all can uh, stop by and celebrate with us. That's at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 23rd. And then we also have New Year's Eve. Um, you know, I don't go anywhere, but some people do. So we didn't want to put our live on New Year's Eve. So we're doing it the 30th instead of the 31st, which is a Saturday. We're going to do it the Friday before that. So that'll be on the 30th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's going to be our New Year's, uh, our going to the New Year's kind of thing. And just to let my members know, um, I do have all of your blue tickets sitting here getting ready to go into the basket. But I like to do that in front of you. So this Saturday, your ticket will be in the basket for all the members. Uh, everyone who donates, all that kind of stuff, I put a ticket in the basket. And I guess that's it for now. I just wanted to show you all the things I got coming in. I have a big order of yarn art coming. I'm not 100% sure. I believe it might be here tomorrow. The minute I get it, I will put a video up. I thought it was going to come today. That's why I waited, and it didn't come today. But uh, last I checked, which was a couple hours ago, it was in New York. So I'm hoping it was on, it was leaving the facility in New York. So hopefully I'll get it tomorrow or the next day. Either way, if it's the next day, it's my live day. So um, I'll try to put a video up earlier in the day if it comes earlier. Anyways, the moment I have it, you guys will know. And I will put up my yarn art. And if you'd like to purchase some, you're more than welcome. You just have to email me and we'll get into all of that on that particular video. I guess that's it. Um, on a personal note, I am making headway and clearing out this room for mom. Uh, I'm not really sure how we're going to do it yet, whether we move her and the stuff she needs immediately. And then we go back to the apartment 
is all depends on how she feels about it or if we bring all the other stuff and then her last. We haven't decided yet. We're getting there. Um, but uh, the room is getting cleared out and hopefully I'll have my mama here soon. And she's not going to let me put her on video. So I'll have to sneak it. So uh, you might get a sneak peek of her. And she's a hoot. My mom's funny and cool and down to earth. And <laughs> you'll see. <laughs> Anyways, I guess that's it for me for now, guys. I got to show you my new kitty, Midnight, which I absolutely love. My Webs haul, my Makari, my um, Etsy hauls. My Kramer, you know, during that uh, Black Friday stuff, I was ordering stuff all the week before and after and whatever. And, and way before that, I ordered my yarn art. So things are starting to come in. The yarn art should be here tomorrow, the next day, like I said. So I just want to come in here because I had a lot to show you so I can get it put away before the yarn art gets here and before my live. So I love you all so much. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to give the thummies on your way out. If you're not subscribed, consider it. And all my information is down below. Uh, everything you need to know. Links to Makari. Um, I'll put the link to uh, Something Luggy 13 Etsy shop. Kramer's. I mean, all whatever. I will put everything down that I can in the description box. Also, all my information is down there. Facebook. Da, 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 da. Everything's down there. So uh, if you haven't before, take a look down there and uh, you might see some things you like uh, as far as Makari goes or, you know, my affiliate link to Pleda, which is the yarn company that uh, has Stanley. Um, I do have an affiliate link down there and I love Stanley. And uh, I haven't ordered any of that yet. Um, I'm kind of feeling things out to see how it goes with them. So we'll see how it goes. But anyway, I had a ball showing you everything. I hope you had fun. Talked your ear off and I guess it's time to go. And I'm going to go eat my dinner. I always wait till after videos and stuff to eat my dinner. I don't know. Odd. <laughs> Anyways, uh, love you all. Mwah. Much love. Till next time, friends. I am going to try the clicker. Let's see how this works. Nope. Number three. Nope. Number four. I need a new clicker, y'all. Number five.